The autopilots are back with another video, as we continue this A320E type rating series. In today's lesson, we are diving into a very popular and complex maneuver, the engine failure after takeoff, or an afarto. This lesson is split into two parts, a theory and a practical demonstration using Microsoft Flight Simulator. To skip to the practical, head to this time in the video. We hope you enjoy this lesson, and feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. Welcome to this theory part on the AFARTO procedure on the Airbus A320. The lesson for the AFARTO, which stands for Engine Failure After Takeoff, will cover the following. AFARTO causes, AFARTO actions, decision making, flows for the procedure, standard and non-standard engine out SIDS, engine fires, the beta target, mistakes people make, and thrust lever management. Let's dive in. An AFARTO is an engine failure that typically happens after V1 and at or before VR. It requires a high level of workload management, competent flying skills and good communication between crew and air traffic control. There are several reasons why an engine might fail after takeoff. Bird strikes, engine malfunction, or foreign object debris. AFARTOs don't leave us with much time to get things right. It is absolutely essential that we nail the initial actions and always remember the Airbus Golden Rules. Fly. Ensure the aircraft stays on runway centerline and when airborne, within 15 degrees of runway. Keep speed and pitch appropriate. Nav. Where are you flying to from here? Do you have terrain to think about? When should you activate your engine out, Sid? Communicate. Consider when you tell ATC, also notify crew, and what will you say to the passengers? Let's have a deeper look at each rule. For the fly golden rule, extra thought should go into. Use the rudder to stay on the runway center line. At VR, rotate at 3 degrees per second to 12.5 degrees initially, then follow SRS orders. Note, this may mean that you need to pitch down. Speed. Your speed should be V2 or the speed at which you got airborne at, whatever is faster. Keep speed managed and ensure you maintain this by following the SRS. Center beta target and trim using the rudder pedals, about 15 degrees of trim. Raise the landing gear. Engage autopilot when appropriate. Speed management is so important, especially in engine out scenarios. Poor monitoring and poor flying which leads to a low speed situation on one engine inoperative can be catastrophic. Do not fly below V2 speed. The nav part is just as important. The crew should control the heading using bank angle when in manual flight. After the initial actions of flying the aircraft, you are going to want to pull heading. This can be done by either PF, autopilot engaged, or PM, providing that the engine out SID is standard. The secondary flight plan containing the engine out SID can be activated later, once the aircraft is clean. If the engine out SID is non-standard, then this will need to be done earlier. Whilst this is not a priority when compared to fly and nav, good communication is essential for the overall management of any failure scenario. You need to inform ATC of your intentions and also tell them to stand by, as otherwise they will keep speaking to you when you're busy. Not all ATC will know your engine out, Sid, so you may need to say where you're heading and where you plan to hold. Consider a pan or mayday call, depending on the severity of the situation. Cabin crew and passengers will be wondering what has happened, remember to brief them. The beta target is a blue square that appears on the PFD. Once centered, this means that the aircraft will have correct amount of rudder to achieve the best climb performance. The idea with the beta target is that you step on the target. Center the beta target with the rudder and then trim until you are no longer using any more force on the rudder pedals. In the event of a failure, there are cases when the normal SID cannot be maintained. Therefore, we have an engine out standard instrument departure, which consists of a straight segment, allows for management of failure, a level segment at 800 to 1000 above aerodrome elevation to clean up. This is depending on company operating procedures. A further climb to an appropriate altitude, followed by a turn to a waypoint, nav aid, then holding at this point. 
a non-standard engine out SID prioritizes the airport environment, terrain, over other actions in a normal EO SID. With a non-standard, there might be a turn very early on. The level off segment might be delayed. The secondary should be activated earlier or raw data followed. It may also involve more turns. Here is another example of the difference. See below a description of two engine out SIDs. One standard, the other non-standard. Take your time to study this image. These are the flows that are required for appropriate management of an AFATO following a standard engine out SID. Feel free to save this image for later as we will be doing exactly this in the sim. At an overview, the standard procedure is to climb on runway track, keep V2 speed, or the speed at which engine failed, whatever is higher, until you clean up flaps. Level off at 800 or 1000 feet, depending on company SOP, accelerate and retract flaps as required. Set MCT thrust and continue climb if required once at green dot. At green dot and above 1500 feet above aerodrome level, turn to the engine fail hold point. So, where do people typically go wrong when doing an AFATO exercise? The rotation is too quick, a snap rotation makes it harder to control pitch, speed and track. They do not manage their pitch well, and usually pitch too high, this leads to a low speed situation. Poor rudder control means aircraft does not follow runway track once airborne. Or they get sucked into the ECAM actions whilst not prioritizing the safe flight of the aircraft. You can avoid making these errors by a comprehensive brief, and also through lots of practice. When it comes to decision making, there are several things we need to think about. Some take priority over others. For our primary concerns, we have to ask ourselves, what kind of airport do we want? What airports do we have around us? What is the weather at these airports? How will this affect our workload? As for the secondary concerns, we need to look at what airport would be commercially beneficial for the passengers and company. Is there company maintenance there? Are there any other threats, considerations? Do we have a plan for once we've landed? By asking ourselves these questions, we give ourselves a strong base for decision making. Pilots, relax. Afartos are stressful, and initially the workload is very high, which is why it is important to do the basics right and prioritize correctly. However, once you are holding, the chances of the second engine failing are very small. You've got loads of fuel, so take a breather and work on option generation and decision making. These exercises are best performed when done in a relaxed manner, so chill. If you have an engine fire and are unable to put it out, you have a different story and one that requires quick thinking. Ultimately, you want to get the aircraft on the ground ASAP. This is the priority. Your actions should involve calling a mayday and getting the aircraft on the runway. It is worth highlighting a couple of things with regards to thrust lever management. Firstly, when setting MCT in the level segment, move the thrust levers to the climb detent, then back to MCT. Do not select toga then MCT. In an engine failure, you will have one reverse. In this case, after touchdown Airbus recommends to still select both reverse and not just the one on the operative side. You can select toga on the initial climb out for more power. Airbus is designed to fly with one engine at flex, but toga can be used. If you do this, ensure it is before the level segment and also expect more rudder required to center the beta target. Now let's have a look at an example of an AFATO following a standard engine out SID. We will be using the flows as discussed in the theory. Take off. Man flex 68. SRS, runway. Checked. Thrust set. One hundred knots. Check. V1. Rotate. Engine failure. Toga set. Positive climb. Gear up. 
Gear up. AP2, heading. Checked. Read ECAM. Engine 2 failure. I heard a loud bang at V1. Engine N1 is at zero and on the overhead panel there are faults that correspond to this failure. My radio's ECAM actions. Engine mode selector. Ignition. Thrust lever 2. Idle. Confirm thrust lever 2. Confirmed. Engine master 2. Off. Confirm engine master 2. Confirmed. Engine master 2 off. If damage. The loud bang suggests there is damage. N1 is also at zero. Do you agree? I agree. Engine 2 fire push button. Push. Confirm engine 2. Confirmed. Pushed. Agent 1 discharge. Discharged. Engine is secured. Stop ECAM. VS0. Attention, crew at stations. Could you notify ATC? Pan Pan. Pan Pan. Pan Pan. Airbus 123. Engine failure. Maintaining runway heading. At 1700 right turn to Bordeaux NDB. Climbing 3000 feet. Stand by for further intentions. Could you activate the secondary? Secondary activated. Flap zero. Speed checked. Flap zero. MCT. Open climb. Checked. Nav. Checked. Continue with the ECAM. If no damage, there is damage so disregard. If no fuel leak, imbalance, monitor. TCAS mode selector, TA. Clear engine 2? Clear. If buffet, there is no buffet, so this can be disregarded. Clear engine 2? Clear. ECAM memo shows lander sap in amber. Secondaries. Bleed page shows the associated failure with the pre-cooler inlet pressure in amber. Clear bleed? Clear. ELEC page shows generator 2 inoperative. APU is available. Start APU. Starting APU. Clear ELEC? Clear. Hydraulic page shows yellow engine pump failure, and the PTU is working. Clear hydraulic? Clear. Status. Stop ECAM. No OEBs, no resets, no expanded checklists. Continue ECAM. Avoid icing conditions. If severe ice accretion, we are not likely to enter any icing conditions. Landing distance procedure. Apply. If no engine 2 damage, there is damage, so we are not going to relight it. Inup systems. Wing anti-ice. Cat 3 Jewel, Engine 2 Bleed, Pack 2, Main Galley, Gen 2, 
Yellow Engine 2 Pump. Remove status. Remove status. Status removed. E-CAM actions complete. One thousand feet. Check. Five hundred. Five hundred feet. Stable. Check. Hundred above. Autopilot off. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, retard. Spoilers, reverse green, D cell. Seventy knots. Thank you.